Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen, I'm from iPad Lettering and in today's video I want to show you the latest features of Procreate Pocket. I'm actually so excited about this because now you can use all the amazing features of Procreate 5X not just on the iPad but you can actually use it on your phone as well. So let's jump right in and let me show you. You'll see that I've got two different phones here and the reason for that is, is because some of the features of Procreate Pocket will actually work better on the older phones than on the new phones. So this one here is my iPhone XS Max and then here this is the brand new iPhone 12 Pro. And so the difference between the two phones is that this older phone supports 3D touch whereas all the newer phones starting with the iPhone 11 unfortunately don't support 3D touch anymore. And I actually keep this phone for this exact purpose because this phone still has 3D touch. But now let me show you what's new in Procreate Pocket. So we're going to start with the new phone so I can show you the overview of what's new in Procreate Pocket. You will also notice that I'm using this stylus here. It's a really cool stylus which has a brush tip on one end and then it has sort of a knobbly tip on the other end and you can use it on both sides but I really really like using this not just with my iPad but actually with my phone as well and to make it a little bit easier for you to see where I'm tapping on the screen that's why I'm using this brush. Alright so now let's get started. The first thing that we are going to look at is that changed menu system. This is super clever so you can slide across the top to access the tabs. One of the features I want to start with is one that you are probably super excited about and that is the dark interface. So you can tap on dark interface to switch between light and dark. I'm actually going to leave it on light for now because it makes it easier for you to see what I'm showing you but I know a lot of you prefer the dark interface and so now you can use it in Procreate Pocket as well. And then the next new feature that I want to show you are some of the new color adjustments and some of the new filters. So we're going to tap on one of the cards and you can see how the menu items are getting revealed. So the first one is hue saturation and brightness and it's not new so this works exactly the same way as it has always worked. This is a very easy way for you to change the overall look and feel of your artwork. But then we have a new addition here which is that gradient map and this is a super powerful feature. This lets you recolor the artwork in an instant like this and you can see there are some pre-made gradient maps here already that you can select from. So this is really easy to recolor all of your artwork all at once. So now if you wanted to change one of these gradient libraries that's very easy as well. You can tap on it and then you can change that color wheel here. So you can adjust the colors of your artwork at each part of that gradient here just by changing the sliders and then you can instantly see the effect it's going to have on your artwork. Once you're finished you can tap done and then what you can do as well if you tap on the screen anywhere on the screen it brings up this little menu here so you can do a preview and if you tap on that you can see what it looked like before. You can apply this change now or you can cancel if you didn't want this modification. And then that blue function hasn't changed so this is still the same blue function as before but then there are quite a few new effects that have been added to the menu here. I'm not using these effects too much but I recommend that you check them out to see whether you like them or not. One of the effects that is quite interesting is the halftone and the way it works is that you tap on the effect and then you slide on the screen and you can see now how this effect is getting applied. We also have screen print effect or a newspaper effect and so this is quite cool and again if you don't want to apply this effect you can just tap on cancel and then it's going to undo this effect. And then the next super cool feature I want to show you which is something I'm actually really excited about in Procreate 5X as well is the ability to create new color palettes. So what you can do here now instead of populating these color palettes on your own you can tap new palette and now you have various options of how to populate this palette. You can either create a new palette which creates an empty palette or you can choose new from camera and this is such a cool feature because now you can use your iPhone camera to 
take a photo and then it creates a color palette instantly. This is so cool. You can also select a file to create the color palette or you can tap new from photos and then you can select any of your photos that you have on your phone. And now you can see how it's super easy to create new color palette just like that. And then if you don't want the palette, you can swipe to the left and delete it. And then the next feature I wanted to show you is Animation Assistant. How cool is it that we can create animations on your phone just like that. So what you need to do in order to do animations is you want to go to your Canvas menu and then you want to tap on Animation Assist. And now you can see how we have got this Animation Assist layer here at the bottom. So the first thing we need to do is set one layer as the background and then we can start animating this. So for example if we wanted to animate these birds we can create all these different animation layers and then tap play and then you can preview your animation right here on the phone and then of course you can change the animation you can add new layers and you can create an animation really easily and quickly right from your phone and then the next feature I wanted to show you is the brand new brush studio that has been ported from Procreate 5X into Procreate Pocket as well. And this is very exciting because it means you can now use all the Procreate 5 brushes, not just on the iPad, but you can use it on the phone as well. And then one of the things that has been changed in order to allow this feature to work on the new iPhones is that this button here can be used for opacity but it can also be used for pressure and the way to change between opacity and pressure is to long tap on the button and then it's changed to brush pressure. So now what we can do is paint these leaves here if we wanted to and you can see how this actually works quite nicely with this stylus so this is very easy to do. Maybe let's change the color and use a slightly different green here. And these brushes have not been modified. These are exactly the way they are on the iPad and they actually work really, really nicely on the phone as well. So now let's look at the brush studio in a little bit more detail as well. So you tap on the brush itself and you can see that the same card interface is coming up as well. And you can also try out the brush here just like that. And then you can adjust all the different settings of the brush and it has got this really cool menu option here so that you can change all the settings. And then that new brush studio also supports dual brushes here and it also supports importing Photoshop brushes. So this is super cool and on par with the features that we have on the iPad. So now you'll notice that these brushes are not pressure sensitive and it's actually really hard to get pressure sensitivity out of this phone. I'm just going to show you how it theoretically works. I'm not 100% convinced it's that easy to do but let me try and show you anyway. So now we're going to create a new layer and then I'm going to use one of my rainbow brushes. So now if I just draw a line here nothing happens but now we've got this slider here that changes the pressure and so now I'm going to try and change the color of my stroke by changing the pressure. This is not very easy to do so let's see how it goes. So what you want to do is draw a line and then while you're drawing you want to change the pressure and you can see now how this changes the color. I don't think this is super practical but I just wanted to show you but now that's why I have my other phone because this works so much nicer on the other phone that has 3D touch. So now I have the same brush and I'm just going to draw a line here and you can already see how the colors are changing. So now I'm going to put a little bit more pressure on and it also changes the thickness of your stroke as well. And then I also wanted to show you a little bit of lettering of course. So there's not that much of a change with it. The only difference is that you can now use all the Procreate 5 brushes and because I've created so many new ones I'm super excited that I get to use them on the phone as well. And you can see here with that 3D touch the thick and the thin strokes actually work quite nicely. And even this little brush stylus is actually quite nice for some lettering as well. It requires a little bit of practice but I think this works quite nicely. So for some reason Apple has decided not to have 3D touch on the new iPhones anymore which I think is a real shame because it made it super fun to use Procreate Pocket on their older phones but you know it is what it is maybe they'll bring back a different type of technology in the future and maybe they'll even have an Apple Pencil for the phone as well. 
And there you have it. I really think this is a super cool update of Procreate Pocket. If you are not familiar with Procreate Pocket at all, then I very much recommend that you watch my beginner video. I'm going to link to this video in the description of this video so you can go and check it out and learn all the basics of Procreate Pocket. I really hope you found this video useful. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And then I'm also going to bloop up another Procreate Pocket video so you can keep watching and you can get some more inspiration about the art that you can create on your iPhone. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.